Well, probably the biggest thing in considering that I've been on heart medications for over 10 years is that I've made no more trips to the emergency department, no more emergency medevacs, no more visits to the ICU department. My heart history started over 10 years ago with a heart attack. Uh, in the meantime, after that uh, last year, or the year before I should say, I have uh, uh, an ICD implantable cardioverter uh, pacemaker, defibrillator, pardon me. So had no bouts of chest pain, uh, no problem walking, I've taken no shots of nitroglycerin. And generally speaking, I had a lot more energy. I can get by with less sleep, uh, feel more alert, uh, never had any tightness in my chest, no trouble breathing. So, or the cardiologists, uh, it's difficult for them to believe that uh, there has been improvement. Uh, it was mentioned to me that, well, medications do a lot to help my heart patients and probably that's the main cause uh, my response was, well, I've been on heart medications for 10 years. All that got me was a implanted defibrillator, another heart attack, and another two trips to the Foothills Hospital ICU. I don't consider that progression positive. And, and I said it would be rather synonymous that statistically I come back from Thailand in July. Suddenly, my echocardiogram shows that my EF factor or my EF fraction has improved and physically the physician who assessed it, a Canadian doctor in a Canadian hospital, said that the bottom third of my left ventricle has regenerated. Also, I have a shortened PR interval, less PVCs, less, less or slower heart rate, all very positive. And that's noted by a Canadian physician in a Canadian hospital. I just uh, have a very positive attitude now and and I guess if anything I can say about the stem cell therapy it does offer hope to heart patients because basically because the, if, if all that's out there is really medications or a triple heart bypass I mean heaven forbid I don't want to get my chest torn open uh, it offers hope for alternative really simple non-invasive and uh, it offers hope for those patients and I hope that we could in the future save more people.